Subscribe to Andrio Tech and press the bell icon to get our latest videos. Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you the installation of the Viper OS ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now, first of all, let's check out the Android version of this ROM. Now, as you can see, the Android version of this ROM is Android 7.1.2, that is Android Nougat. Now, let's check out the other apps. The dialer is same as we get on all the ASOP ROMs. This is the messaging app, the gallery. Now, the ROM does not have a stock camera. You have to download it from the Google Play Store. Now, let's check out the other features of this ROM. The ROM is having a tab called the Viper Editions where you can customize your ROM. Now, as you can see, here are the status bar customizations such as the quick settings customizations, status bar items customizations, clock and date customizations, battery customizations and a lot more customizations. Here you can customize your lock screen, sounds and notification customization, system customizations and much more. Now this ROM is fully theme supported. As you can see, you can theme the ROM as you want. And the good thing is you get all the features of the Pixel 2 launcher with this ROM. Now let me show you the launcher customizations. In the UI section, you can choose a icon pack of your choice if you have installed any of it. You can enable screen rotation from here. You can set the number of columns on the home screen, number of rows, you can increase or decrease the icon scale, icon text scale and in the dock section you can switch on the transparent dock or turn it off. In the drawer you can increase the opacity of the drawer or decrease it and here you can select the theme. If you want blur you can switch it on or you can switch it off. Now this is the pixels style settings. Here you can just tweak these settings to make your phone look like the Pixel 2. Now let's move on to the installation of the ROM. Now boot into your Rigo. Now if you don't know how to manually boot into your recovery, press the power button, the home button and the volume up button at the same time. This will take you to your recovery. Now once you are into your recovery, before installing the ROM you have to do three things. You have to wipe Dalvik system, data and cache. After you are done with this, you can move on to the installation of the ROM. Now click on the install option and locate your ROM. Swipe to flash. Now once the installation is completed, you have to flash the Google Apps, that is the GAPS. It is recommended that you have to flash the Android 7.1 Pico GAPS.
Now the installation of the open gaps has been started. Now as you can see the installation of the gaps is completed. Now just click on reboot system. The ROM may take up to 5 to 6 minutes to boot up. Now as you can see my ROM is booted up. Now let me complete my setup. Thank you for watching my video guys and if you like the video please hit the like button below this video and don't forget to hit the thanks button on the xda page of this rom thank you guys